Hi friends and hello strangers! Welcome to another book haul! Because who cares if we said we're in a book buying ban? I mean, do we even follow that ever? Today, I will be sharing with you 10 books that I just recently got. I have 3 books from Fully Book and the rest are from book sale because yes to tepid, yes to pre-loved books, yes to used books, and yes to sustainable reading. Okay, so let's just get into it. The first book is probably the tiniest book on my shelf right now. And I got this because of two of my favorite YouTubers. They love this. It's Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke. And this is an edition of The Little Black Book by Penguin. So cute, the book. Although I'm not sure if this is all the letters or this is an this is just an excerpt. But I see some editions are thicker than this one. I started reading this already. I have highlights and tabs already but I stopped and I decided to restart and actually annotate on the papers because why not? It is just full of wisdom, full of oongano, full of um, learnings and lessons that Rilke have shared to a young poet and that is applicable to us anyways. So why not annotate this because i have a lot of thoughts about this i have a lot of comments i have a lot of anything to say about this book so let's annotate this sometime next book is from collins classics i actually got a copy from shopee but unfortunately it was a counterfeit book and i can't even read it because it's not the actual novel it's the commentary to the novel and that is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. As you know, I've been collecting classic books and getting into classics more. So I've got a Collins Classics Muna just to get the feel of this book because I've been seeing quite a mixed review of this one. Some loved it, but majority of the reviews that I've read or I've heard, they don't exactly loved it. So me as a challenger i was like okay challenge accepted let's see if i would like this so i got the collins copy just to make sure that i won't be spending too much on a classic book that i am not very much familiar with the next book is quite a famous book you probably have seen this already or, or have heard about it already or probably you have read this already I'm not sure but this is quite a famous book on book talk booktube bookstagram anywhere on social media I don't have any idea what this book is all about but I've heard this is a strong emotional heavy it's not an easy read my dark Vanessa probably one of the most um, disturbing books as mentioned by other book reviewers or book readers so i got myself a copy because people like me loves to hurt themselves so alternating between vanessa's present and her past my dark vanessa just opposes memory and trauma with the breathless excitement of a teenage girl discovering the power her own body can build Thought-provoking and impossible to put down, this is a masterful portrayal of troubled adolescents and its repercussions that raises vital questions about agency, consent, complicity, and victimhood. The following books I got secondhand, and you need to shakadami. First book is a non-fiction, and this is about the American injustice in the age of the wealth gap, and it's The Divide by Matt. Taibi. Taibi. Over the last two decades, America has been falling deeper and deeper into a statistical mystery. Poverty goes up, crime goes down, the prison population doubles, fraud by the rich wipes out 40% of the world's wealth, the rich gets massively richer and no one goes to jail. Familiar because it's true and it happens it happens in real life not just in the philippines but also in the most powerful country right now it's scary to be honest this should be tagged as a horror non-fiction book no i've been seeing this book a lot so i finally got a copy it's room by emma d i'm sorry i can't pronounce that 
Let's just stick with Emma. D. Room is home to Jack, but to Ma, it is the prison where old Nick has held her captive for seven years. Through determination, ingenuity, and fierce motherly love, Ma has created a life for Jack. But he knows it's not enough, not for her or for him. She devises a bold escape plan, one that relies on her young son's bravery and a lot of luck. What she does not realize is just how unprepared she is for the plan to actually work. This gives me a lot of no exit vibes, but I'm sure this is published earlier than that. I'm not sure how they relate to each other, but that excerpt gives me a lot of no exit vibes. The next book is one of the classics that I am excited to own. This is a series though and I've got one book pa lang and that is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Oh and this is a complete and unabridged copy. I got it for 75 pesos. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes brings together 12 of the master detective's most celebrated cases. What is the secret of a speckled band that brings death in its wake? What terrible villainy is going on behind the respectable facade of house of the house at Copper Beaches? How has a priceless diamond found its way into a gullet of a goose? Why does an envelope containing five orange peeps inspire such terror in its recipients? And what of the clever and beautiful Irene Adler who proves more than a match of for the famous detective. Excited ako dito, but this is I guess the third book from the series and I'm not sure if I should read it first. If you have read the Sherlock Holmes series, let me know if this is okay to be read like una. The next book is another classic and I have no idea what this is all about. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Eh, uh, natatandaan ko eh. Natatandaan ko tungkol saan to. Sige, basahin na lang natin. This is a troubling story of crime, sin, guilt, punishment, and expiation. Set in the rigid moral climate of 17th century New England, the young mother of an illegitimate child confronts her Puritan judges. However, it is not much her harsh sentence, but the cruelties of slowly exposed guilt as her lover is revealed and hope. As her lover is revealed that hold the reader enthralled all the way to the book's pregnant climax. Hindi ko naiintindihan. Oh. I've just started trying to put the Goodreads blurb or Goodreads synopsis at the front page of the books. Ayun, natatanggal siya. Because as you know, I don't read blurbs. I don't read excerpts or anything about the book. I just dive in right away without knowing what this book is all about. I just know the genre that it is tagged on Goodreads but not the actual plot of the book. So, I tried putting a small piece of paper. Yung iba color, yung iba hindi. Kasi wala na kaming ink. To familiarize myself with what is the book all about. So let's see. Set in 17th century Puritan Boston, Massachusetts, during the years of 1642 to 49, it tells the story of Hester Prynne, who conceives a daughter through an affair and will not reveal her lover's identity. Mmm. Juicy. The Scarlet Letter A. For adultery, she has to wear on her clothes along with her public shaming is her punishment for her sin and her secrecy. She struggles to create a new life of repentance and dignity. Throughout the book, Hawthorne explores the themes of legalism, sin, and guilt. I think mas nakakaintindi pa ako nung blurb sa Goodreads kesa sa nakalagay sa likod. The next book is also a classic from Charles Dickens. It's Martin Chuzzlewit. And it's a large book, by the way. How many pages this is? Ooh, we have here, what's this? Notes. We have here notes. And the actual novel is 764 pages. Set partly in America, which Dickens had visited in 1842, the novel includes a searing satire on the United States. Martin Chuzzlewit is the story of two Chuzzlewits, 
Martin and Jonas, who have inherited the characteristic chisel with selfishness. It contrasts their diverse fates of moral redemptions and worldly success for one with increasingly desperate crime for the other. This powerful black comedy involves hypocrisy, greed, and blackmail, as well as the most famous of Dickens' grotesques, Mrs. Gamp. The last two books are thrillers written by Harlan Coben. I've heard about Coben from our Thrill Seekers Club. One of our admins mentioned that he loved um, Harlan Coben's writing style or concept so far. I've seen this just recently in book sale when Nemo was shopping for her kiddy books. And I've got myself two thriller books, so hello. The first book is Missing You and look at the cover. It's nice. Tingnan mo the back. Ewan ko, mahilig ako sa ganyan eh, ragged. Plus, the spine is orange so it really stands out when it's in the stack of books or in my shelf. Wala pa akong na-print na blurb but let's read the back cover. It's a profile like all the others on the online dating site but NYPD detective Kat Donovan focuses on the accompanying picture she feels her whole world explode as the as emotions she's ignored for decades come crashing down on her staring back at her is the man who shattered her heart 18 years ago but when cat reaches out to the man in the profile her reawakened hope quickly darkens into suspicion as an unspeakable conspiracy comes into light Kat is consumed by an investigation that challenged her feelings about everyone she ever loved, including her father whose cruel murder so long ago has never been fully explained. As she ventures deeper into the darkness than she ever has before, she must discover if she has the strength to survive what she finds there. Ooh, that's intriguing. The next Harlan Coben book is No Second Chance. Am I the only one who hates stickers like this? Tingnan mo, nakaharang siya sa title. Girl! Why? So, also, I don't have the synopsis or printed synopsis yet. So, let's just read the back offer. How far will a father go to save his only child? Shot twice by an unseen assailant, Dr. Mark Sadman lies in a hospital bed. His wife has been killed, his six-month-old daughter Tara has vanished, but then a ransom note arrives, giving him one chance to save her. Forbidden to talk to the police or the FBI, Mark is helpless as the authorities home in new sus suspect him. How? And he doesn't know who he can trust as deadly secrets surface about his wife, about an old love he's never forgotten, and about his own past. Torn between agony and hope, Mark finds himself clinging to one unwavering vow to bring Tara home at any cost. No Second Chance is both a white knuckle thriller and an emotionally powerful tale by the modern master of the hook and twist. Ooh, I like the title, The Modern master of hook and twist hello mr coben so that's that those are the books that have been added to my pile of mess under my table so thank you for watching let me know if you have same books on your tbrs mm -hmm.